Zuni, China. Hello viewers, my name is Dina from Namibia, a country found in Southern Africa. I'm sure you have watched part one of Zuni at a glance video. So this is a part two of that same video. It's a, it's a, it's basically a continuation. For those that are hearing about Zuni for the first time, Zuni is basically a city found in northern Guizhou, a province of China in the southern side of the country. For those of you that may recall, part one covers population, landscape and scenery, cuisines, the production site of the Moutai wine, which is a premium national liquor of China. So the video covers many other aspects. If you haven't watched it, kindly click it, enjoy and learn. Let me reiterate that Zuni is one of the stunning cities of the world. We are still talking about the stunning Zuni. Zuni blooms with flowers of various kinds and different colors, giving you that soothing mood. Do you get? With a population of over 6 million people, Zuni is a diverse city and it is known for ethnic minorities. It has over 72 natural springs throughout the city, a variety of freshwater sources and stunning rivers. The popular tourist attractions are China's Red Tourism. In case you want to understand what China's Red Tourism is all about, China's Red Tourism are historical sites and places which record China's revolution led by the Communist Party of China, CPC in short. History says that CPC held the popular Zuni conference and it was at this conference that Chairman Mao Zedong was elected as the leader for the first time, the leader of the CPC. Other must-see attractions of Zuni are Red Army Long March Memorial Park, Wumeng Mountain Forest Park, Xingfeng Gorge, and the Mao Zedong's former residence. When it comes to the science of medicine, Zuni is a hub for traditional Chinese medicine. So if you're seeking healing, Zuni is the place. Zuni is also well known for its pottery industry, which produces beautiful ceramics.
Zuni holds many festivals throughout the year and the most popular ones are the Dragon Boat Festival and the Lantern Festival. The Dragon Boat Festival is a traditional Chinese holiday which occurs on the fifth day of the fifth month of the Chinese calendar. The festival involves worship of gods and ancestors, praying for good luck, also having entertainment, celebrating and eating. The Lantern Festival, on the other hand, is a Chinese traditional festival celebrated on the 15th of the first month in Chinese lunar calendar. The festival honors deceased ancestors and aims to produce reconciliation, peace, and forgiveness. The Zuni Olympic Sports Center is a major sports venue. It hosts various sports events attracting athletes and sports fans to experience sports momentum. Leisure activities include outdoor cycling, rock climbing, and more. Zuni is home of innovation, creativity, and entertainment. With a supportive business environment, Zuni has seen an increase in startup businesses and entrepreneurial ventures. The city's favorite climate and fertile soil make it an ideal region for cultivating high quality tea, attracting tea enthusiasts from all over the world. The city is home to several reputable universities and educational institutions such as Zuni Medical University, Zuni Normal College, Mote Institute, and more. The city has a booming retail industry. It is home to numerous shopping malls, boutiques, and markets, offering a wide range of affordable products to cater to diverse tastes. Zuni experiences a pleasant climate throughout the year, but the best time to visit is during spring, that is now March to May, and autumn, September to November, when the weather is mild and most beautiful. To get around Zuni, the city has a well-developed transportation system with buses and taxis readily available. There is also a subway system, making it convenient for travelers to explore different areas. <laughs> the charming city offers a wide range of accommodation options from luxurious hotels to budget-friendly guest houses. Of the 11 hotels and resorts are Royal View Hotel, Mota International Hotel, Hotel Andean, Maple Garden Hotel, Zuni Resorts, and many more. Please uh, pick them. Uh, you can see them on the description of the video below. Look at the grass on your right. <laughs> Most of the hotels that I just read offer outdoor swimming pools, 
where guests can take a refreshing dip and unwind the sun. Some swimming pools are surrounded by lush greenery and stunning mountain views. For fitness enthusiasts, there are well-developed gymnasiums where you can maintain your workout routine. Additionally, most hotels and resorts offer spas and wellness centers, providing a wide range of rejuvenating treatments and massages.
Do you think you're there? Yeah. But it's not clones. Oh. I need to chill to nine to nine. You don't have to.
that was zuni for you so please subscribe to your one-stop channel thank you so much for your support once again this is dina your favorite baby girl in the building i am from namibia africa keep watching and stay tuned and also do stick around with upbeat talks youtube channel thank you so much and remain blessed never forget to keep walking by faith never never ever forget to keep walking by faith Yeah, I'm going to go. 